Hey guys, Dan here from VHix411. Today I have a Mercedes airbag control module. I will show you how the clone service is done. We'll be transferring information from the original airbag control module to a donor control module with exact same part number. As you can see, the Mercedes Bosch part number right here, 782, 782. Uh, this guy right here is flooded, water damaged. If you can see the damage here. So we are going to read the original data, the bin number, coding, all those options and transfer them to the donor. With the Mercedes control modules, if you install another one with the exact same part number, unfortunately, it just won't clear. It has VIN, it has coding information in it, and sometimes the dealer may program it or may not. Sometimes they'll want you to get a brand new one because they cannot overwrite the uh, old VIN number or old information in the donor airbag control module. So, simple video on how to do a clone. This is an easy one. This one has an EEPROM. If you need the service done, you can actually, at the end of the video, you can click on the link or on the bottom of description. If you have a programmer, let's go ahead and do this. I will do the car probe. I'll be using the car probe <clears throat> to do this clone service. Already have them removed, remove my covers and clean out my board so I can actually save some time on cleaning and reading and all that as you can see you, we have a 95640 EEPROM just go to my car probe set up my EEPROM to 95640 we want to read and verify we want to make sure it's a good read and you can double check over here 95640 pin number one is right here so we are going to on the original one, set my EEPROM clip <clears throat> to pin number one. Now, a lot of times it'll just pop out of there. So all I would just make sure it's all in there and hold it there and click read. Some of these, in order to read it, you might need to remove the EEPROM. So, pin number one, just making sure I got all set up. 95640. And let's read again. All right, now it's a better read, of course. I mean, it is a read. Let's verify. So if you verify, that means it's a good read. We are gonna save this as, let's do this on my desktop, and I will save it as Mercedes Original One Airbag. So save that, and if you can see all the coding information is in here. So all the options will be transferred from the original one to a donor one. All right, let's get this one out of the way. We read this one, so we'll get that out of the way. Now this service of review, or if you need to clone it, a lot of these Volkswagen, not just Mercedes, Volkswagen and Audi, some are, uh, Fords, Lincoln, and some other cars, if you get one from a junkyard, it won't work. It will not reset until you have it coded to your vehicle. Heck, even a Honda, you know, that has the seat program right into uh, the airbag control module, and it won't clear until you either program it on the car or actually transfer to a clone. All right, set this guy up in there. 
I always like to read both files, original one and a good donor one, in case. And read this file. I will save it also. So we are going to save this as Mercedes new airbag. New airbag. And then we can actually compare the files. I'll go click over here. I'll click Mercedes. I'll click the Mercedes new. And then Mercedes original. And you can see some of the bytes over here are different. Uh, let's see. Some of them here, you can see quite a few of them are different to this specific vehicle. There's more here that are different. So pretty much it is a different file and we are going to write the original Mercedes file into it. So let's do Mercedes original and then we're just gonna hit write so <clears throat> while it's writing make sure to like share subscribe if you're first time make sure you subscribe and let's see if it written the file nope looks like it didn't written the file in these locations we'll try writing it again if not if it does not want to transfer the file a lot of times we can try again. If not, you will have to remove the EEPROM from the board and write it that way. If when it's connected in, cir in circuit on the board, it just sometimes does not want to write. So let's see if this one works. Nope, so it won't work. So I will remove this, get my solder working, my iron heat up. I will always mark pin number one which is right here. As you can see, even with a programmer directly to an EEPROM, sometimes it doesn't work. And that's why a lot of times the dealer cannot transfer on the car or rewrite it on the car because it's not possible sometimes. So let me heat up. this oops while my EEPROM is cooling off I'll clean the tracks now if you need if you don't know how to remove it and solder you pretty much have to practice on the bad control module there's a video for that I'll probably do a little bit later on to upload it on YouTube otherwise let's do this clean up Make sure the track is even when we set our EEPROM program. Now let me clean it up with acetone. All right, so here's the EEPROM. It is this way, pin number one. If you don't set up pin number one, it won't read it. So that's why you gotta make sure it's set to pin number one. Now let's write. See that? So it written it successfully. I will make sure my pin number one is setting to the pin number one where I marked it. They don't want any issues. I will tap it. Okay, so we got that tap, tap, tap. Okay, and I got all of them tapped. So once they're tapped, I will go through the top. Let's see. Mm. 
Okay, so good connection, good connection, good connection. Good connection, good, good, good. So now that we have a good connection, I will clean it up. I mean, you can double check it, double check it with a magnifying glass, but I already done a little ton of these, so we know for sure. Just clean it up, clean my number one pin drawing over there. So that's done and voila. So this computer is programmed identical to this one. So then everything that's here is now here. Car will not notice the difference. And of course, the only thing the airbag light will be off now because it ain't a flooded one, just like this one. You can see the corrosion and everything. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, see you in the next one.